I do personally still believe very strongly that uh, there is room for both activities. Pure advice, which is the probably the most sophisticated expression of financial intermediation, and of course sales. But a salesman is not an advisor, he's someone who is selling a product or a service, and an advisor is obviously someone who is uh, regarding only and exclusively the interest of his clients and not the interest of the product uh, provider. So that's the factual difference between the two. They have to be separated. I think they were separated in the past. Now there has been a lot of confusion for, let's say, the last 20 years uh, because of the development of the, what is called bank assurance and therefore the confusion between uh, different activities under a sa the same roof. When bankers uh, became uh, uh, insurers in the same time as asset manager and so on, there was definitely a confusion and certainly a lot of conflict of interest. So that was true for the banks and obviously true for the financial intermediaries working for them. From the client's point of view, yes, as long as the client, and this is a very important point that we have to take into consideration, as long as the client can afford it. Because I guess that, you know, to pay uh, 3,000 pounds or 3,000 euros uh, for an advice uh, is maybe not, uh, you know, uh, available easy for, uh, for uh, everybody. So we have to take this into consideration because it will not be fair for the rest of the population not having access to advice because that would definitely be wrong, because if the only opportunity for the rest of the population is just to buy anything on the internet, a sort of uberization, if you see what I mean by uberization, uh, of financial services, this is definitely wrong. 